About 200 demonstrators stormed the headquarters of the largest dairy products group in the world on Wednesday, demanding higher payments for farmers. Their action is part of a month of crippling nationwide protests over what farmers say are burdensome environmental rules, inadequate wholesale prices, and unfair competition from outside the EU. It was extremely important for us to be here at a time with a lot of discussion of farmers' problems, our deep-seated anger and our need for higher prices and income. Lactalis is a global and national symbol of companies that are predators of our labor. Protests at Lactalis and other places across France came just hours after French Prime Minister Gabriel Attal announced a new agricultural bill seeking to appease farmers' demands. The legislation will create a new basis for negotiations between producers and wholesalers to improve farmers' incomes and will also make it easier for farmers to obtain visas for foreign seasonal workers. These changes are on top of millions of euros recently paid out in emergency agricultural aid. But farmers say it's not enough. They are also pushing for revisions to EU laws that require 4% of farmland to remain fallow to protect biodiversity. We're not going to give up on this. There's a delegation going to Paris at the end of the week, and if there's nothing at all on fallow farmland, it's certain we'll mobilize even more. I don't think we're going to be able to hold people back any longer. Should the protests continue in Paris, they threaten to disrupt France's National Agricultural Fair, an important social and political event expected to be attended by President Emmanuel Macron.